Hey, what's up? Zach King here from FinalCutKing.com. I've got Final Cut Pro 7 open, and I'm going to show you how I did a recent video trick. Before I go into the tutorial, I want to let you know I've got a new video out. It's for the YouTube Next Step program. If you click the link in the description, just go to the page for like 10 seconds, give it a little thumbs up, and that's a vote. You can vote once a day for the next six days. It'd be awesome if you guys could help me out and vote for that video. For those of you who voted, thank you so much. For those of you who just want to get on with the tutorial, here we go. So if you haven't seen the goldfish video, go ahead and check it out in this link so you can know what I'm actually talking about. This is a really simple effect. I've also posted tutorial footage for you to follow along. So if you've got that opened up, bring it down. Let me give you a little run through of what we've got. We've got the solved Rubik's Cube. And yes, I can solve the Rubik's Cube. If you have any weird hobbies of your own, comment below and let me know. So I've got a few different kind of timings uh, going inside the box, going outside the box with the solved Rubik's Cube because we're going to eventually crop this right here. So when I shot this, I knew that I didn't want myself to cross here or if I did, I would have to actually mask out. What I'm going to do is go to the last half of the video where I actually start my intro and talk. I'll make a cut here. And we're going to go ahead and watch it. And as we watch, we're going to hit the M key which will create a marker up here in our playhead area. And I'm going to mark each area where we need to insert the solid Rubik's Cube. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube with a goldfish box. Watch closely how I do this. Solved. Unsolved. Solved. Unsolved. Let's do it again. Solved. So I put it through the box three times. I've got three markers. Again, I just hit the key command M. Now we're going to go back and we're going to look for areas where it's solved. So start about right here. Hit the B for cutting. Solved. And I'm going to cut that. And we're just going to put this up above. I'm going to delete the audio. If you want to just delete the audio, hold down Option to select. Or same with the video track. So we're going to put that near our marker area. Okay, so here's what we need to do to actually see this. Zoom in. We're going to double click our upper clip, go to motion, crop, and we're going to be cropping from the left side. So pull the left over and about right there is where the crop takes place. Now it's just a matter of lining it up. So that's about where we need it to pop out. So watch for the first area the Rubik's Cube comes out. That's when we're going to put our clip in and match that same frame right there when we first see the Rubik's Cube. So line that up, cover that one up right there. Now I'm going to render this out, Command R, and we're just going to double check our, our timing. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this through and see what it looks like. Solved. Unsolved. Okay, there was a jump, that was my computer, but if we go frame by frame you'll see it matches up okay. As well as when we scrub through to the end the hand goes out with the correct timing. So it's about finding the clips with the right timing and putting them in. And then the simplest part of this tutorial is just the cropping. So crop right down the middle. You may think that you need some feather later on, you know, to make this edge blend in in case the lighting happened to be a little bit different from take to take. So you go back to crop and then you can add the edge feather right here. But be careful doing this too much because it actually blurs all the edges as well, not just the cut. So continue to do that for the rest of the three markers with the footage that I've given you guys. And then when you're done, you just delete that first area. You can drag it all in the beginning, and then you've got your video all finished. So if you want to practice with the footage I've given you, do that. Feel free to post it online on your channel, and then put it as a video response to mine so I can see. So that's what I guess we're going to call the Rubik's Cube effect in Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions, check out the Facebook page for Final Cut King. 
you can comment below. And don't forget to vote for my video that's part of the YouTube Next Step program. The link is in the description. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video tutorial.